justice with Judge Maybelline will be life because in everything we do, it involves the law. You came to court to testify about what you heard, what you saw, and what you know. She's fair. I don't have a hearing problem. This ear works good. This one works even better. She's firm. I'm not responsible for that ticket, and I'm not going to pay for it. Who says you're not going to pay for it? I make that decision, not you. She's honest. What do you have to say? All I have to Nothing. say. Nothing. <laughs> this is Justice with Judge Maybelline. Andrea Hankey is suing Mitchell Dreyer in the amount of $389. Ms. Hankey claims Mr. Dreyer showed up to her child's party in a dirty costume and he smelled of alcohol. Mr. Dreyer claims he showed up and he did his job, so he believes he doesn't owe the plaintiff a dime. All rise. Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? I do. I do. Court is now in session with the Honorable Judge Maybelline presiding. Thank you, Will. You may be seated. In the matter of Andrea Hankey versus Mitchell Dreyer, um, I understand, Ms. Hankey, you're suing him for $389 for the cost of a lion costume. Mm -hmm. Well, he played, he played the part of a lion. Yeah. And your child's tea set that you allege that the lion broke. Yeah. Um, you're claiming that you didn't get what you paid for. I did not, Your Honor. Okay, tell me about it. Well, it was my daughter's five-year-old birthday. She's, her name is Kayla. She's turning five-year-old. I figured it was like the only time I was going to go all out. She loves lions. She loves Madagascar. So I paid $300 for services of two hours to come out and um, Upon his arrival, he showed up 20 minutes late when we had already priorly discussed um, that we, he was going to show up. We were going to surprise Kayla. We had taken her off the side. We were going to take him off to the side and, you know, say, okay, and then come out. Well, he showed up late. I called him. I asked where he was, and he frankly just said, I'm on my way, hung up on me, and then he came, and he just barged right in, and he scared the children. And what do you mean like, barged right in? I just thought it was very rude. I feel like when people come to someone's house, they should knock before they come in and then I'll lead him to my side yard. After a while, the kids settled down, they got used to him, he'd say all these jokes and it was funny, but then like he would start taking these breaks and going like every 15 minutes. Now I paid him two hours, not like, you know, for him to take breaks every 10, 15 minutes. And then okay, when I looked closer Okay, was it every 15 costume, minutes or every 10 to 15 minutes or how often did he really take a break? I would say about 15 minutes he would go and take a break. Okay. And I would go to the restroom, and then as I would look closer at his costume, it looked just, it was gross, Your Honor. It was nasty. I kept noticing it more and more. I would say the first time I saw it, and the Were third you drunk? time. Was I drunk then? Yeah, that was a question. No, I was not drunk, Your Honor. Were you drinking? No, I was not. You weren't drinking wine? No, well, That's I had not what wine. My I had wine for the adults, you were but wine. I wasn't drinking. I, yeah. I personally, I don't, I just felt like it was nice it for the adults, the adults to have wine. It were drinking wine. Yeah, but I was not drinking. Oh, you served and you didn't drink it. Yes. Oh, okay. Exactly. But when you come, when I would talk to him closer and I would like I've noticed there would be a fragrance on his breath that was definitely alcohol and I mean I did not pay him to come up to the party drunk or smelling that way, which makes sense. Maybe he was going to the bathroom because of whatever reason that he had been drinking privately, and maybe that's why he was late. I wasn't drinking, Your Honor. I, I, I'm going to let you talk. And so, did he, he what was he supposed to do as the uh, as Madagascar the lion? Entertain the children? Exactly. Two hours. Did he entertain before, the children? I, yeah. Well, he did entertain the children. It did get a little odd sometimes how close he would get with the children. It made me feel a little uncomfortable. Uh, just the way he was acting. I did think you tell him to not do that when you were feeling uncomfortable? Well, no, because I figured because he was there at the party, he should be able to be fine and that, to see how it is. And plus, the kids were really enjoying it. What am I, I, it was my Kayla's her five-year-old birthday. I didn't want to come up and say, oh, I'm sorry. Like, they didn't understand. So even with this nasty costume and this funky breath that smell like alcohol, your kids, your your kids Honor, were having a good time. Is that what you're telling me? Your Honor, me? I have I No, have no, no. Just answer my question. Is that what okay. you're telling me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I now, have, what do you have photos of? Yeah, I do have photos and um, the receipts. Of what? Of him at the birthday party um, and what exactly he looked like and what the costume looked like. And you saw this when he came through the gate, right? Yes. I didn't particularly notice it right away. It took me a couple 
glances to finally understand this is completely inappropriate, not what I had paid so for. So once you noticed that it was completely inappropriate, you say that was within the first hour? I, yeah. Uh, with the first half hour? Yeah, definitely. Did you tell him to go? Hour. Get out of here. You nasty thing gone. Did you tell him to get out? I did, I did not, Your Honor. Coming up on Justice with Judge Maybelline. I wasn't sure if I should fully tell him at that moment at the party because he did not seem the right state of mind. If that was like the right Ooh, thing Ooh, you to just ask. gonna exaggerate this thing to the point where you just gonna become a real big liar. And later... It was not contractually agreed to that I would go to Africa. And I still went on the trip for the purpose that, that I intended. Money. I went on a spiritual journey. They would have never have given you that much money if they would have known you were going to Thailand. Justice with Judge Maybelline. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. We're back with the case of Andrea Hankey, who is suing Mitchell Dreyer for breach of contract. The kids really liked him, as much as I felt that way. And then the, w the worst part is that so all of this is happening, and I'm already getting very frustrated. And then a kid, one of the kids came up to me and said, Hey, um, we noticed that the tea set that you bought in is all now broken all over in the ground. And I saw the lion, guy in the lion costume go do it. And she's eight years old. I understand it was a kid who told me, but she is someone that is very truthful. And she, and kids tell it as it is. And there's no one, there was no adults around that table. I wasn't around that table. Um, there was no kids. There was only one that could have been possibly would be him. Was this after the party was over? This was near about the end of the party. I didn't want to make a scene, Your Honor. I knew that she was really loving it, but how am I supposed to explain to them, hey, this lion's just ghetto. Like, the kid's not going to... You're supposed to explain it to no child because you're supposed to do what a parent does and do what you believe is in the parent's, is the child's best interest. And so if you think there's a man that's running around with your kids funky, he's been drinking, he's going in and out, and he smells like alcohol, did you think that was safe and trusted? So you're supposed to do what a parent does, protect your child. Yes. But you didn't do that. I did by the Let end. Let me hear from the defendant. Your Honor, I've been doing this for 10 years. This is the most difficult parent I've worked with. She was giving me a hard time from the beginning. I, I was not drunk, Your Honor. I was feeling <laughs> under the weather okay. on the day of. I hadn't gotten any sleep the night before, so I took some over-the-counter cold medicine so that I'd have enough energy. I didn't want to cancel and ruin the kid's party. Um, Mom was a, a difficult from the beginning. She called me screaming, why are you running late? When we had agreed that I would come in late to surprise the kids. She's... Yeah, I was, I was about, I was about, I was about, I was about, come late. I was about 20 minutes. Ho, ho, All I want is a yes or no. Did you agree he would come late? No. How is he going to surprise the kids if he came at the same time the kids came? He would go through the front entrance. The kids wouldn't see him because they're in the back. And we would come to the side and then we'd say, okay, we're, this is how so it's going to So did she go. explain all that to you? Come that, to the front entrance, the kids are going to be on the side? That wasn't what I understood, Your Honor. I understood to show up late and surprise the kids. But either way, she paid me for two hours of services. Those two hours started when I arrived, Your Honor. So I, I did full two hours, even if I was later than she thought I was going to be. Um, as I was there, Mom was giving me a hard time from the beginning. You know, I played with the kids for an hour. I wasn't taking bathroom breaks every 15 minutes, Your Honor. I used the restroom when I needed to use the restroom. I mean, How many times did you have to do that? Uh, maybe two or three times, Your Honor. I don't know. I wasn't feeling well. In two well. hours? What's wrong with you? Yeah, I wasn't feeling minutes. well. I was real sick, Your Honor, so I had to, you know, go in the bathroom a couple times. But did you ever explain to her sick. that I don't feel well today, but I came to do this? This, this woman was a nightmare. She was yes or no? Did you no, I did not. To I did her? not explain to her. I don't like making excuses, Your Honor. I, that's not an excuse. That's an explanation. That just says I don't feel well. I'm here. I don't feel well, but I'm going to do it anyway. No, I didn't. I didn't have that conversation with her. Okay. So you never offered her any uh, explanation why no, you went back and forth to the bathroom. No, I didn't think going to the bathroom a couple times over two hours was that big of a deal. Okay, you you said three or four times. Then you take it down to a couple of times. Why you guys can't just tell me a number? You know the difference between a couple and three or four. I don't. I don't. I didn't count how many times. But then say that. I don't know how many times I went. I didn't count. I didn't think it was that many then times. Then say that. Okay, I didn't. I didn't count, Your Honor. I was there focused on entertaining the kids. You know, I was spending time. We danced. We. I was dressed up as a lion. So I'm roaring, scaring the kids. The kids were having a great time, Your Honor, and that's what I was focused on. Okay. Then after about an hour, you know, I asked her if I could have some water. She's giving me a hard time about asking if I can have some water. Did she give you some water? She uh, eventually, yes, but she gave me a hard time. You mean about you it. would not give the man? You found a man thirsty in no. your home, and you wouldn't give him a water to drink. No, Your Honor, I did. Shame give him on water. you. She was difficult. No, I gave him water. 
You have to I didn't ask you to talk. I asked you one question. Oh. You answered my question. And then mom disappears. At the end of the two hours, I was looking to get paid. She gave me a hard time about paying in cash, which is my policy. Um, hands me an envelope with the cash, says, here's your 300, get out of my house, kicks me out. It was very so rude. So when did you find out about this broken tea set? After, Your Honor. She didn't say anything at the party. She gave me the cash. I did my job and I left. Now she wants so money So when did back she call you about the tea set? She called me, you know, a week later and said, there's a tea set that's broken. And, and she asked me about it. I said, I didn't see any tea set. I had nothing to do with the tea set. When did, when did the kid tell you that he broke the tea set? Told me at the party, Your Honor. And so when did you tell him? I told him a week later, like he said. Why? But because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't falsely accusing him because I did How ask did some of the other sure? kids. I asked the other adults what they had seen. And, and what you said they... none of them had seen it. Yeah, none of them had seen it. Only the child had. And but so... it didn't take you a week to ask them that, did it? I did ask them, but they said they did not see it. Okay. So why are you telling them a week later? Why are you just deducted from the $300 if you really believe that he broke your kid's tea set? But why did you give him the full $300? I wasn't sure if I should fully tell him at that moment at the party because he did not seem the right state of mind. If it was like the right Ooh, thing. Oh, you to just gotta exaggerate this thing to the point where you just gonna become a real big liar. More I'm and more. The more I ask honor. you questions, the more you exaggerate. You just fell right into my trap. You just fell right into it. If this man came to entertain your children in a dirty, nasty costume that you believed was inappropriate, like he had been lying and wallowing in it or whatever, and it smelled, and if his breath smelled of alcohol, you should have gotten rid of him as soon as you noticed that. You don't let him work for two hours and entertain your children and allow all of the kids at the party to have fun and then say, but I'm not going to pay you. Oh, no, that's even worse. Oh, I paid you, but I want it back now. Why? And you had all the power in your head right then. So the burden then would have been on him to come get it from you. That's why I don't believe all of that. Judgment for the defendant. Judge Maybelline has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. I should have kicked you out the moment I realized you were not in the proper state to entertain children. Obviously, the judge saw that I did my job, the kids had a good time, and I don't know about your daughter's tea set. Coming up... It was not contractually agreed to that I would go to Africa, and I still went on the trip for the purpose that, that I intended. Money. I went on the spiritual journey. They would have never have given you that much money if they would have known you were going to Thailand. Justice with Judge Maybelline. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. Tommy Parsons is suing Justin Robertson in the amount of $2,000. Mr. Parsons claims Mr. Robertson took the money he donated to the defendant for a mission trip to Africa and used it for a trip to Thailand instead. Mr. Robertson claims the money was used for the same purpose, a trip of spiritual guidance, so he doesn't owe Mr. Parsons anything. In the matter of Tommy Parsons versus Justin Robertson, you're suing him for the $2,000 for a refund of money that you contributed to him um, going, allegedly, on a spiritual journey to Africa, right? That is true, Your Honor. So what happened? Um, <clears throat> I was, uh, a little over a year ago, I met Justin, the defendant, um, in church. It's a non-denominational Christian church. Um, took a liking to him. I noticed that he was there, baggy clothes, some tattoos, and he looked a little nervous. That's really the important thing. Um, so I went over to him to speak with him. He was sitting by himself and, um, again, visibly nervous. Went over and talked to him a little bit, and he was a little apprehensive, <clears throat> but I let him know. I made it clear I'm a child of God. I was welcoming, welcoming him to the church. Um, just, you know, took a shine to him. So then we would... Um, I would talk to him after church every Sunday. Eventually invited him over to the house and my wife cooked a great dinner and you know, we watched some of the games on Sundays after church and, and uh, just talk. We talked for hours on end. Um, nice young man. Uh, never had any issues at all or any problems with Justin prior to this. Um, what happened was he, in our talks, said that he wanted to take unbeknownst to me, much to my surprise, a spiritual trip to Africa. I was beaming, beaming with pride. Uh, maybe about nine months ago, I'd say he went up in front of the congregation and explained to the congregation that he was going on a spiritual trip to Africa, specifically said Africa. Um, let them know that he was setting up a, a page on a website 
uh, that he was going to ask for donations. Coming up. It was not contractually agreed to that I would go to Africa, and I still went on the trip for the purpose that, that I intended. Money. I went on the spiritual journey. They would have never have given you that much money if they would have known you were going to Thailand. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. We're back with the case of Tommy Parsons, who is suing Justin Robertson for fraud. Well, he ended up raising $2,000 from the congregation to go to Africa. And I was overjoyed, so much to the fact that I decided to contribute and match my own $2,000. Oh, okay. A fine young man, like I said. So what happened? So, um, Justin gets a girlfriend. Um, and I met her. Nice, nice girl, but then he started to get further and further away, wasn't coming to church anymore. Um, and he was difficult to reach, very difficult to reach, uh, to the point where I was concerned that he may not go on the trip at all. And it turns out that he not only did go on the trip, but he went on a trip to Thailand instead. Um, and this I found out, my wife has the idea, check social media. I was about to say, you found out on social media. Found out on social media. So now you want your money back. <laughs> I do want my money back. All right, let me talk to Mr. Robinson. Your Honor, I went to Thailand and I shared the gospel with a few people there. I talked to them about Christ. They talked to me about Buddhism. You specifically said, fund my trip to Africa for a spiritual experience. You got donations from people based upon that representation. Mr. Parsons doubled it. The rest of the people are not here suing for reimbursement, but he matched it based upon that representation. And then you did something else. Judge Maybelline's verdict when Justice with Judge Maybelline returns. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. When you are doing a Fund Me page and you're asking people for charitable contributions or to assist you in something, specific and people give to that specific cause you have to do that but your honor because I did do that no it was you never didn't go set to Africa. In you didn't go to Africa you went to Thailand it was never set in stone that I would go to Africa that's what you put on your page it was not contractually agreed to that I would go to Africa and I still <laughs> went on the trip for the purpose that, that I intended money. I went on the spiritual journey they would have never have given you that much money if they would have known you were going to Thailand you don't know they may have but you wouldn't have I definitely would not Because you don't think of Thailand in terms of spirituality as you do Africa. So you misrepresent it. Big time. I, I'm not saying that you couldn't have a spiritual journey in Thailand, but that's not what you said to the people. But and that's not, that was not the basis of him donating the money. Your Honor, there were still people that donated money after I changed Those people aren't asking for a refund. He asked, he wants his back. I'm not talking about them. That's fine. They don't care, but he does. Judgment for the plaintiff. All rise. Judge Maybelline has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $2,000. Look, I really didn't mean to mislead you. I appreciated the church and how you helped me. Well, I'm not going to hold this against you. And if you change your mind, you're welcome back at the church anytime. This has been a